time from Deutsche Bank Park in Frankfurt, Germany. And it's finished. Belgium nil, Slovakia won. And just like in Euro 2020, after Slovakia beat Poland in St. Petersburg. Annoyingly, that is for Poland. Because obviously, if you're new to the channel, I am a certain percentage Polish. I'm, I am a certain percentage Polish. I'm not sure, like, what percentage it is, but... I am because I did a DNA test. They used to go. But anyway, it is finished. Belgium nil, Slovakia won. And to be fair to Slovakia, all I have to say is fair play. Simply fair winnie. <sighs> Eating my shoe. But yeah, but what a win for Slovakia. I mean, they played really, really well. Um, in that, especially in that second half, because Belgium, it was Belgian dominance in that second half. You know, they were just, you know, they were just, they were just attack after attack after attack. And it was just a very good second half performance from Belgium, but they just couldn't get the goal. I mean, they did have two disallowed goals, Belgium. Um, the first one, the first one was a disallowed goal from Lukaku, which he, he was offside. Um, it was quite obvious. But then, <clears throat> but then the second goal, the probably the first moment of controversy, controversy at this European Championships. The second goal, well, the the second disallowed goal, obviously Louis Ponder. He controlled the ball. Can't really remember what happened. Oh, sorry about that. Um, he controlled the ball and then something happened and then it was finished by Romelu Lukaku. Belgium thought they got an equaliser, but the goal was disallowed for handball on Louis Aponda. Now, for me, for me, I mean, I think it is quite harsh because if you look at it, like, if I just... Grab something. I mean, I'll just take this. For, I'll take this T-shirt or this shirt even, which I'm using for prom. Um, basically, like, the ball comes across and the ponder, like, his arm's like this because obviously he's getting his body right because, and then the ball, it, like, skin, it skins his fingers like that. It skins his fingers like that. And obviously, VAR checked it and it was disallowed for handball. I mean, I think it is quite harsh because, yeah, I mean, yes, opponent's arm is out. And, you know, you can clearly see the ball do, literally goes, well, not like that. You can clearly see the ball touches his fingers. You can clearly see that. But, like, it is just harsh because you can't, you can't just, you can't, because the ball is, his face like this, the ball's coming across this way. Like, he can't just have his arm like this and just, like, you know, just stick his leg up or something. He needs to keep himself on balance, you know. So, obviously, his arm's going to be out there so, so he can keep himself on balance. I mean, for me, it is harsh. It's a very harsh decision, if I have to be honest. Um, I mean, if I was VAR, I mean, I probably, I probably would have disallowed it, but... It is a very, very harsh decision because I don't really know what a opponent is really mentally like. What's he meant to do with his arm? He can't just like retract it like like that, or he can't just you know run. He can't just run like with it. He can't run with his hand like on this leg. Like he can't do that. It's a, it's it is just a very, very harsh decision. I think, and I'm sure a lot of Belgian fans will feel that they were robbed in that game. I mean, the first goal where there was this loud is offside. But the second goal, big controversy. Put down in the comments, do you think that goal should have been disallowed? For me, I don't, uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm in the middle with it, but it's a very, very harsh decision. But overall, I mean, fair play to Slovakia. Um, you know, obviously the goal, obviously the goal scored by Skranj, scored by Skranj, I mean, the shot originally saved by Castillo, it fell out to Skranj, who scored from close range to make it 1-0 to Slovakia. And, I mean, Slovakia, they started really, really... I mean, Belgium for the opening 
first five, ten minutes started really, really strong. Attacking Lee, they were strong. And, uh, you know, could, I mean, Jeremy Doku was really good. I mean, to be fair, most of Belgium's chances came from um, Doku, to be honest. Um, came from Jeremy Doku, to be honest. I mean, Lukaku had some big opportunities to score as well. Um, Lukaku had some big opportunities to score as well. But, I mean, to be fair to Martin Dubravka, he made some really, really key saves. And Slovakia defensively, fair play to them. I mean, Hanko, Skriniar Vavro did quite well. Um, and, uh, yeah, but overall, it was a good game, obviously. Belgium, I mean, considering Ukraine lost today, and obviously, to be fair, if you look, if you, I mean, obviously, before any games were played today in Group E, on paper, people would say that Belgium and Ukraine are the two strongest teams in the group. And obviously, obviously Belgium would have seen that Ukraine would have lost to Romania. So they would have gone into that game knowing if they would if they would win, they would be top of the group. And then if they win the next game and Ukraine don't, because I think Ukraine have got Slovakia next and Belgium have got Romania. If Bel if Ukraine would have if Ukraine lose the next, if Belgium would have won this game and beaten Romania and then Ukraine lose to Slovakia. That would have put Belgium in a really, really strong position. And they maybe could have put in a weak... And maybe they could have put a weaker side out against Ukraine in that final game. But the next game for Belgium against Romania is a big game. And considering the way um, Romania played earlier against Ukraine, Romania are capable of beating Belgium because, like I said earlier in the Romania reaction, I was very impressed with them. And, I mean, Belgium... Attackingly, they were very, very good. So defensively, Romania got to watch out for that. They got to watch out for players like De Bruyne. He can make a really good pass. Doku on the wing, he's, he's very skillful. He's got speed and Lukaku as well. Considering he scored two disallowed, he scored two goals today, which were disallowed, and also he scored fourteen. Belgium, they scored twenty-two goals in the qualifiers for this for this tournament. Fourteen of them were scored by Romelu Lukaku. So Romania. They've got to be careful defensively because attackingly, Belgium are good. Defensively, Belgium, they're a bit in the middle, I guess, uh, defensively. But yeah, but man of the match, for me, I am going to give it to Martin Dubravka. I thought, you know, the amount of chances Belgium had in that game. I mean, defensively, Slovakia were really good. But Dubravka, if he wasn't in that today, Belgium maybe could have gone on and won that game. So my man of the match for me is the Newcastle United keeper, Dubravka. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the final full time reaction of the day, which is Austria versus France. Au revoir.